Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shark and Bear, and welcome to the channel, where today we're going to be checking out a game called Age of Water. And I firmly believe that this game is flying a little bit under the radar, because uh, people are not really talking about this one that much, and we're literally about a week and a half away from release. I tried out the demo, and it's amazing to me how fun this game actually is, and I'm just trying to give it some more um publicity more or less i want this to be heard more about because what i played in this demo is actually pretty fantastic and it really kind of channels the uh water world vibes that i'm looking for in a game i, I was really hoping to get that out of sunken world which is another like aquatic survival crafting game and that game does fill that niche uh, as well but this is an entirely different experience from say uh sea of thieves and uh sunken land so we're going to check out this demo, uh, and I can showcase a couple of things here in this game. Uh, it is important to note that this game was uh, slated to come out this Friday on the 18th of April. However, the developers decided to hold back the game about a week because as of right now, they're saying they're reworking the voiceovers for the game to uh, add better voiceover for it. Um, it is also slated to launch in early access, but according to the Steam page, this game is a complete experience as far as the campaign and activities are concerned. But over the course of the year, using community feedback, they're looking at trying to give more events and more things to do in the game of Age of Water. So if you like the content and you want to see more footage for games like Age of Water here on the channel, feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below. Have you heard of this game? And uh, what do you think of it? Um, this is the prologue. It's free, like I said. Uh, and I am excited to jump into the full game when it comes out. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and restart because, of course, I've beaten the what's available here. And, uh, yeah, I would like to give you a fresh look at it. I will say... And of all the things that I don't care for in this game, long time ago, are this intro right here. It's kind of generic. Ocean waters gradually flooded the entire surface of the planet. Cities and villages, factories and airports, forests, fields, and even many mountains ended up underwater. Human civilization, in the common understanding of the word, disappeared. But humans as a biological species survived. Those who managed to escape the flood on the roofs of skyscrapers, on mountain ranges, or on ships, eventually learned to survive in the new world. The most ingenious came up with the idea of extracting fragments of old civilization artifacts from the seabed. The most skilled learned to build ships from that garbage. The strongest and meanest found out how to take these things from other groups. A new civilization was gradually taking shape, living by simple and brutal laws. The laws of the sea. The laws of the age of water. And I'm going to be honest, that's probably one of the most generic intros I've ever seen for a game. I hope that is something they actually make better in the future. So here we are in Age of Water, and I just want to first point off how gorgeous this game looks in the ocean. Of course, there's not a lot of stuff in front of us currently, but just on the offset of this game, I feel like the character models, the water effects, the islands themselves, and the gunplay is actually going to be pretty awesome here. Um... It kind of, the characters themselves kind of are Fortnite-ish to me. Um, I'm not big into Fortnite, but I do kind of like the artistic style they chose for that sort of game. Uh, so as of right now, uh, we are here at our little pontoon boat, and our objective is move forward to the rock. So we're going to head that direction. You have your WASD to move. And I am going to turn down some of these si uh, sound effects so that I am not uh, being overwritten by this stuff uh we need to pick up that trash right there it is a survival crafting game what game wouldn't be a survival crafting game without picking up trash so we're gonna make our way over there we see the smoke on the other side of these rocks we also have some bad guys over there just circling turn around on the rocks someone is calling for help so we're going to uh, help this lady over here in the water Sharky bandits sank our whole caravan, you know, and... Whoa, who are you? Why do you have a sharky boat? I don't know, I just came over here when I heard your screams. So you must be a newbie with amnesia. Y'all always appear from nowhere. Amnesia isn't contagious, right? Oh, I got carried away. Let's get acquainted. My name is Kitty Sark. After the ancient clipper ship? After the bottle. When I was born, 
A bottle with a real cork and a note got washed up against our pontoon. The elders took the cork, the note was sold to the scavengers, and I got my name from the label. Right, hop on in. You won't regret it, I promise. I'm a great shooter. That's what everyone says. Besides, I know that Sharkies have a treasure map. Let's get it. Treasure would be nice. I'm in. You don't have a machine gun on your boat? That's not right. The place is swarming with Sharky gangs. We need a machine gun ASAP. Just pick up the machine gun. It's there, in the wreckage. It's going to be a bit too hard without one. All right, so now that we have control over our boat again, we are going to head over to where she pointed out this wreckage right here. And we're going to craft ourselves our gun. <laughs> now we have a machine gun. Hurry. Oh. All right, so we're going to hit B for build, T for tab. Then we have our machine gun, uh, 1 PN 10. So we're going to click on that. And now we can safely place this anywhere on our boat that we would like. We're going to go ahead and anchor it right there and escape out of this. Sharkies have a treasure map. Let's get it. All right, and then we will head out. Uh, we got a objective marker, chase down the sharkies. Those uh, guys that were just here just a moment ago. It looks like uh, they're heading right at us. And they're heading right for us. All right, so we got one guy. You do have to watch out for your gun. It does have a over uh, overheat meter. Behind that guy, and we got one more. We are in luck. The map is intact. As soon as we are able to decrypt it, we'll go look for the treasure. All we have to do is get a decent boat and assemble a crew. The Mantis Bar is nearby. It's a frequent haunt for unemployed sailors. Maybe we'll manage to hire some. All right, so we're going to visit the Manus Bar. That's that crane over there in the ocean. If you look at the bottom of our gauge right now, you can see we have a speedometer, uh, a power meter that's basically, you know, capping what you can and can't have on your boat. And the little battery uh, symbol right there is our basically our turbo. Uh, as we basically hit our turbo down, it loses power, but it does recharge over time. So if I stop hitting my turbo, it'll charge on its own. Gonna pick up that seafood and seaweed, and we're almost at the Mantis Bar. I want to get a first look at our NPC interactions here, and I do like this splash art image for all this stuff. Hey, gorgeous! I'm Mantissa. I run the Mantis Bar. They call me Female Mantis by my back, but don't be afraid yet. Hey. You here on business or to relax? They say Hi. sailors can be hired here. Ah, so you're looking for male company? That's pretty quiet here today. There's one sailor who was interested in work. Talk to him. Okay. <laughs> to talk to a different person, press their portrait on the right. Yep, so we'll go ahead and Jack Wiley Boatswain. Greetings to the free captain. My name is Jack. I'm an experienced sailor. Greetings to you too. Uh, I'm looking to work as a bosun on a decent vessel. But I can be a sailor or a carpenter. And I'm quite a good shot too. <laughs> a jack of all trades, so to speak. I can use a bit swain. Uh, but the three of us on your rubber boat? Although, I know where to get a decent boat if you're not afraid to take risks. I'm all about taking risks. Go on. There's a ridge of rocks nearby. It's like a maze. The Egghead's decided to hide there. The Eggheads are gone, but the boat has to be attacked. Great. Let's get it. So we're going to now have our third party member right there. They're both sitting on there, and basically what they're doing is they're recycling uh, the salvage we get in the ocean and turning it into usable goods from what it looks like. If you actually let the uh, bars fill up, Resources for repairing and making things always. Yep, see right there, they're scrapping all that and turning it into usable parts. So we have some bad guys over there. If we wanted to, we could throw down with them. And it looks like that's exactly what we're doing right here. I would heavily suggest, uh, this is probably one of my, uh, one of the things that you're going to watch out for, is this game does something a little bit different. Is that, you know, I was thinking maybe like headshots originally is what was going to, to work on uh, these guys, but it's not about headshots. It's about boat integrity. So if you focus on one part of the boat, it's actually going to break the boat faster and make it sink a lot quicker. So that is good to know. 
Uh, I didn't catch it the first time, but if you just like focus fire on a specific part, it is the key to bringing enemies down much quicker. Uh, you can also hit uh, spacebar, and that'll actually cause your uh, guys to actually repair the boat. They basically go into repair mode, and that's what we're aiming for. So we're here at these uh, little rock formation. We want to avoid this uh, yellow stuff in the water. It basically does chip damage to our boat. Nothing significant, but I assume that if you hit too much of it, you will definitely take uh, significant damage over time. So we're just trying to weasel our way into the middle here. We're trying to avoid all of this uh, crap in the water. And here we are. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this boat. Now we've upgraded to a different boat, and that's one of the cool uh, functions of this game is that you will be able to get better and bigger boats over time. Looks like we have some enemies coming up on us, and they are airborne. The cool thing is we can just pretty much hot shot them from the air. We do have two more guys coming, or one more guy coming. And Oh, we overheated. There we go. And you can see right there at the bottom. We can fix the boat at a low cost there. Get a generator even? It's no fun without it. Yeah. So we managed to get uh some damage. When the hall is breached, I'll pump the water out. There's no critical damage, Captain. Alright, so we've done everything we can. Now to find our way out of here. And then we're going to head on to our next destination, which is to reach the workshop. That'll allow us to patch our boat even more. Hell, you can actually even add on uh, extra defensive um, uh, defensives onto your boat, such as like uh, barrels and stuff. That way, making uh, taking shots and fire and bullets uh, do less damage to your overall boat's integrity. All right, so we're at Jimmy's workshop right here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, tear up over here. Hello, Captain, and hello to you too, Kitty. Hello, Cra well. hello, Craftsman. My name is Jimmy Bean. How can I help? I'm in need of repairs. I can see that. Not a problem. Uh, but money is tight. I just started the career of a sea wolf. If you won't throw Kitty overboard for her blabbering, call it square. But if we're being serious, there is one problematic pirate. Should we sink him? Yeah, but it won't be easy. His trimmerin is armed to the teeth. By the way, Kitty, I heard that the treasure you're chasing was already taken care of by that bastard. Well, all the more reason to sink him. This is our treasure. Uh-uh, not so fast. The new barge could use a second machine gun. There's a diver village not far from here, and they trade in restored weapons. Thanks for the tip. We just need to choose the hull's lining, mount the steering wheel and other modules, uh, check the energy consumption, and it's ready to be set afloat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open the vehicle constructor right here. And from here, we can actually choose what type of lining we want on our boat. We can go for plastic, which gives us more maximum speed and uh, less mass, or we can go for something more durable. Uh, I would say we actually put some plastic here on the boat. Those are our patches right there. You can see overall... Our boat is uh, pretty patched up, uh, to say the least. Uh, from there, we can also look to do some new things, like put a different steering wheel in, per se. Or put a steering wheel in, period. We're going to go ahead and put our steering wheel back there. And I'm actually going to remove these, because I would like to... Um, I would actually like to... Uh, move them around a bit so we're gonna put that there uh we're also gonna hit tab we're gonna put our let's see improvised generator you can rotate stuff i believe yeah with the e button but unfortunately for whatever reason this one doesn't really rotate that well uh, we also need to go ahead and put our ship pump somewhere 
I want to line that up better. Can we line this up better? It doesn't look like we can line it up better. Weird. And it's not... Oh, we can do that. I don't like that you can't center it. Can I... Can I put that there? No? No, not working. Okay. Um, what if we... What if we, uh... Put this here. Does the the barrel only take one spot? It takes two spots. So it's not going to let me do that. I want to try to get this a little bit better. Um, I'll put the generator back here. Hmm. I guess we could actually put this sideways. No, we can't. It won't even fit in sideways. So we're just going to have to deal with the fact that it doesn't fit into an entire, uh, like, middle area. Go ahead and put the steering wheel in. I don't like that at all. I'd rather have this, like, right here. And then we'll put the boat, uh, the gun, of course, at the front of the boat. Um, water pump's gonna go somewhere. All right, and then we got a dredge here. And how do we? Oh, we could put that on the back of the boat like that. And uh, do we have any defensibles? It doesn't look like we have any defensibles right away. So we're going to go ahead and escape out of here. Choose the hull's lining, Set your new vessel afloat. The and I want to look at the instruction of this boat. Let's see what we got here. I swore we had more. Bamboo shield. There we go. We can put that on the side of the boat over there. And we can put this on the other side of the boat right here. There we go. We got some shielding there. And off we go. So now we need to visit the divers. We'll head on over here. And in this direction, we'll find a submersible. It'll pop up, giving us our next destination. surface just in time look the canary has kicked the bucket poor bird have you been sailing underwater in this thing well i haven't been sailing it around in the air i look for all kinds of goodies on the bottom and sell them to dealers family business and all that my dad and brother work in shallow waters and i'm a serious depth specialist wow sounds cool not really it's dark stuffy and you can suffocate there it's easier to live on the surface after all Although I see it's not easy for you here. You're sailing around in a barge with only two sailors and a machine gun. Maybe no work and hire more people. Are you looking for a sailor? Today is your lucky day. My little brother has been dreaming about joining the ship crew for quite a while. He's thoroughly sick of tinkering with machinery in shallow waters and is afraid of the submersible. He's claustrophobic. Where can I find your brother? He isn't hard to find. Sail to the iron tower that used to produce electricity in ancient times. Our family business is set up on it. You'll find my brother there. Thanks, I'll head there now. Wait! In the depths, I saw that the witch's boil is heading that way. Be careful, or you might lose your vessel. Boil, huh? No idea what that means, but thanks for your warning. How pleasant it is to breathe some fresh air. Good luck to your uh, good luck to you, Submariner. The witch's boil. When you see steam all around and the water turns white, stop the boat at once. Otherwise, you'll lose the whole line. I actually kind of wonder how that's going to play into all this. We do have to be careful because, uh, as you saw, those guys uh, shoot, or shoot uh, torpedoes. 
But lucky for us, we can actually shoot them out of the water. Oh, that was hard to see. Ooh, and we're reloading. Alright, so we managed to get uh, two breaches on them. There we go, and those guys are down. Let's go ahead and scavenge from them. We got some XP there. And we got two boats over here. Obviously, the goal wouldn't be to see it sit like a duck, but I wanted to sit still so I had a better view of the uh, um, torpedoes coming at us. Here's our first introduction to the witch's boil. So it's basically just like a fog, more or less. And then it just disappears. We can move on. Uh, I recommend that you check the state of the hall. Alright, so we are at the next destination. Uh, if you want to buy weapons, sorry. We've sold everything to a wholesaler. We'll have new guns next week. I do you too. You must be a free captain. Some people have all the luck. Sailing around the world, meeting people, shooting, robbing, living an exciting life. But I'm stuck here, scrubbing rusty junk, day in, day out. Do you want to join my crew? Your crew. Seriously. I would, right now, but Dad won't let me. He cares more about the family business and excitement. I'm going to rot here. Well, if I talk, I'm not letting you. That's impossible. But if it works, I'll jump on your boat in a heartbeat, Captain. I'll try. What do you want, Drifter? Hello, honorable underwater junk magnate. That's how you talk to people. We don't sell trash here. Try the scavengers. We only deal in bulk, no exceptions. Your son wants to join my crew. Seriously? I'd be happy to let him. He's dreamt of adventures since he was a boy, and he can't stand the work here. You agree to let him go? I do. But our family has an unbreakable tradition. Any son who leaves the family must build a weapon to take with him, with his own hands. What kind of weapon does he have to build? You have only one machine gun? Let my son find a part to craft a good machine gun and install it onto your boat. Okay, I'll tell him. Oh, I'm so sick of this place. Your dad will let you go if you build us a machine gun. No way. You're joking, right? I'm all yours, Captain. Ready to serve you to the grave. Hop on aboard. I know where to find the wreckage of a military plane with a gun on it. Keep heading for the marker. All right. And so this is our, like, first, uh, look at dredging, essentially. So we'll head on over to this checkpoint over here. And we'll find the necessary parts to build a new machine gun for ourselves. Yeah. Look into the water. We'll use the dredge here. Okay, so I believe. Pick up the container when the dredge is done. So hit P, and that'll uh, basically it's just on a timer. You just wait, and it'll automatically pull the things up. All right, there we go, and it looks like we found ourselves uh, four machine gun remains. And we'll go ahead and just take all that. And okay. Now choose craft. And we're going to go ahead and make ourselves the machine gun uh, Mark II KK 20 millimeter. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let uh, Kachiro make it since he is, of course, the crafter. And he's building away over there. And once he does that, we'll just dismantle our gun and put in the new one. Captain, the machine gun's ready to be mounted on the deck, but first remove the barrel and mount the generator. The machine gun needs powering. Okay, so we need to go ahead and remove this. Go and do that. And then we'll find our Mark II right here. 
and we'll put them down right there. Uh, we can also look to see that we have plastic shields for our boat. And uh, can I... Let's go ahead and mount this. Can we mount these? I would think that maybe we could. It looks like we can't do this here. I wonder if we have to go somewhere else to put this on. Uh, I actually want to see... Now we can tear apart that pirate on the trimaran, flying the black flag. The one Jimmy was talking about? I wonder if we can moor back over here. And uh, put those uh, protections on. Or do we have to go back to the repair station to do so? I hope my son will fulfill my... Okay, so we're not going to be able to do it there. Let's go ahead and head on over back to the repair place. I would like to, honestly. I, I want to know. Because uh, that would be pretty cool if we could put more protection on our ship. I haven't seen what that looks like. I put the bamboo shielding on. Uh, but part of me feels like if we want to put more, like, um, protection on our ship, we might have to go to the repair guy. We do want to watch out for our turbo, essentially. It doesn't come back as uh, fast as I would like it to, but I assume over the course of the game... Uh, you'll build uh, bigger and better generators for your ship. That way you can go for longer without having to slow down. If you need to change something... If you need to change something on your boat, you can do it at any time. Oh. So that means that I can... I said B. So how come I can't... How come I can't mount these then? It's weird. It won't actually let me put those on for some reason. See, I dismounted that. I took the, that one off, okay. Is there a specific place these go? That I'm not seeing? Huh. I wonder if that's a bug. Oh well. Uh, so we'll head on to our next destination. Anyways, regardless... Uh, we'll be fine. I just wanted to see if we could uh, jazz up our boat a little bit more with some more defensives. Uh, but now we're going to go look for the trimaran, and that'll be our first major uh, boss counter for this uh, demo, essentially. And it's honestly going to be like one of the last encounters as well. As you can see up in the top right corner, it does kind of mark your progress to let you know where you are uh, in reference to the prologue they gave available to you. Just giving you a little nibble, and then teasing you with what's to come. Um... I'm going to be honest, uh, the gameplay feels pretty good, the ship sailing feels pretty good, the gunplay feels pretty good, I can't wait to jump into, um, like, what the game has to offer, hopefully, uh, there's a substantial amount, I love scavenging games, I love crafting games, and I, I love, uh, I love Waterworld, I, I don't think it got, uh, nearly enough, uh, love at the time when it came out, I believe it was actually a... Uh, box office disaster if you're old enough to remember Waterworld. If not, then just know that this game is very much like that. Plus, it has Kevin Costner in it, uh, for whatever that's worth. Probably one of the uh, top actors of the late 80s to early 90s. The pirate trimaran is ahead. Send it to the bottom. Shoot the engine in the barrels. Alright, so this is definitely going to be a tougher encounter because uh, we gotta get in close to this, guys. Uh, this enemy does have several points of interest on it we can actually look to hit uh, different uh, points on it like these explosive barrels on the side luckily for us the enemy does a great job of putting red circles on everything we are watching our overheat gauge
We are going to try to move out of the way here. We are reloading. There we go. And that is the ship down. Here's our treasure chest. It's huge. But it has a tricky lock on it. One you can't just pick. We're gaining more experience, Captain. We have a spare minute to select new skills for everyone. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit T. And as you can see, everyone here has uh, different roles and preferences they like. It looks like they eat, uh, they drink, and they also have a morality meter. Uh, so we'll go ahead and look at ours. Our uh, alter eagle is a, uh, ego is a helmsman. Uh, we leveled up to level two, so now we can look to see uh, what uh, perks we can have. You can choose from two, and it looks like there's pretty extensive uh, level up menu for everybody. It looks like thirty might be the max level for now. I don't know if that's going to go up in the future. We'd have to find out. Uh, but we get to choose between two perks. The first one is uh, engine power boost. It's 20% or 10% uh, additional engine power. I'm going to go with that one. Then you hit upgrade skills and locks in the place. Then we can go and hit uh, everybody else. Uh, so Kitty Sark, she is a gunner. I would say that rotation speed is probably pretty key here because our rotation speed for our gun. Uh, you know what? No. I would say the weapon reload could be... Eh, I can't. We're going this. I'm assuming that you can actually change this once you level up. You might get some more SP there. I'm assuming that's skill points. Uh, Jack Wiley, our boat swing. Uh, I would go ahead and say... Let's do 10% hull repair speed. And then, last but not least, Kachiro, who was our crafter. I would say, let's give him some uh, crafting speed upgrade. And that is a little bit of the skills that he has available. And as a matter of fact, looking at it, it looks like you can get both skills at the same time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I thought it was just maybe one or the other. No, you can grab both. Alright, so now we're going to float on and we're going to activate a teleporter because apparently that is one of the features of the game is that later on you'll be able to activate different points of interest and fast travel before, uh, between them. Do we have a map? Yes, we do have a map. And we're currently floating towards our translocation area. We got some guys coming up on us. And they're just trying to bomb us under the water. But luckily for us, we were able to take them out before they became too much of a nuisance. I'm not even going to worry about that one we passed. But it looks like we need to be sailing more in this direction. Yeah, we see our uh, destination right there in front of us. And we are almost at our destination. And I believe hitting this teleporter also marks the end of the tutorial. And as we make it to the teleporter, we're getting chased. And there we go.
All right, and there goes our look at Age of Water. I feel like that taste uh, there in that demo was enough to to definitely give me an itch that I need to go boating sometime soon. And uh, maybe Age of Water will be exactly that. Uh, so what are your thoughts on this? Uh, do you think this is a game that uh, is coming out of nowhere? Because I, honestly, I hadn't heard of this game until about last week when I thought I saw like an ad for it or someone was playing it on a YouTube short or something like that. Uh, comment down below. Let me know. What is your interest in this game? What do you think of it? Does it give you the water, ward, uh, water world vibes? Is, or is there something else that maybe it reminds you of? Um, I am also going to leave a link down in the description if you'd like to go check out the demo for yourself as well as wishlist the game for yourself. Uh, that being said, you guys take care and I will catch you all in the next video. Later.